Oh, you found us. Oh, you. You. Welcome back to CCTV episode 1,241. What's the actual episode number? You think I know? It's like 30, actually. It feels like I've lived a lifetime. But it's actually, what is it? What's the episode number? 27. 27. We've only wow. done 27 podcasts. Really? I feel like that's I, wow, it? I was born in a podcast. That's it? I will die on a podcast. That's it. That's, that's it. it. It's like you look at our YouTube channel. Oh, it's only been a year in LA. It's only been two years in existence. What have we done? Nothing really. I mean, like, that's it? No, we've done some cool stuff. I mean, like, no. right now we're sitting in a RV. I think it stands for recreational vehicle, right? Yeah, yeah. good job. It stands for uh, Armalite, the company that made it. Uh, it's not a. Never mind. All right, it's and uh, um, this is going for this is for a series, I guess, a show. I don't know what to call it. Just some shitty videos that we made uh, where we took a little road trip. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going up yet, but shitty videos. Yeah, dude, do because I don't know what to call them. Because I can't content. Let's just call it content. Content. It's a show. We made. It's a show. I'm excited. You're excited for but, it. But I mean, you know, I have low expectations. So. You have like a low <laughs> bar for the stuff. Yeah. That we do but here. I wasn't part of it, so we'll see. Uh, special guest Lindsay. Hey, what's up? Um, we haven't had you here since the Fareed <laughs> She's <episode>. the guest. <laughs> She's been on this before, and so is Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Fareed was supposed to be here, but he had something better to do. Right. So, fuck you, Fareed. Fuck you, Fareed. I, fuck told, you, Fareed. I, I told him if you were busy, you don't have to do it, but also, fuck yeah, you, buddy. Okay. Asher's yeah, here, too. He was busy. What was he? It was his Sugar Pine 7 office filming uh, their once a month I video. Yeah, I had to bring Kib uh, an almond latte, so sorry. Get to br- <laughs> we can't all make uh, hot music videos. Do you know that, uh, I mean, speaking of Kib, do you know he got married? Yeah, it happened. Did he? Yeah. I don't yeah. know about So that. He's, he's, he's married That's now. a quick engagement. Yeah, it was. I mean, one could argue that may, may have been done, you know, under certain circumstances. And, I have a uh, question about both both Kib and Subtic. They wear an engagement ring, and I didn't know if that was like a thing now that the young boys are doing. When they get engaged, they also wear a ring. I mean, would you wear an engagement ring? Just um, wondering. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't really know the rules of an engagement when it comes to guys wearing rings. I usually thought that the partaker it's, of the the ring or the person that receives the, the ring is the one that- proposed to? Right. But I think since girls like propose nowadays, it's kind of like- Were they you know, both proposed to? No, I don't no, think so. No, I just was wondering, not judging. When you get just a wedding wondering. ring, does the dude have to buy both rings? Do they buy them for each other? The wedding bands? I guess, whatever you put on- Only like, the, you pick them out So together. that's part of your wedding budget, usually. Oh, uh, okay. The bands. Her, they call them bands? Her parents it's a wedding band. for it. But it's don't a worry. ring. Yeah, usually. Don't worry. Her parents will pay for it. Right, but I've seen like I've seen because you already you already paid for a ring she's never going to use again, so you already wasted. Well, she usually women will wear the engagement they, ring. Yeah, they forever. wear the engagement ring, right? Yeah. You got a little. Is it? And a little the guy wears the wedding ring. Is it my nose ring? Is my nose ring? Yeah. I thought it was something else. It's your nose ring. In the low lighting, I thought you had a a, 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 a glittery flake. Because have you seen a guy? Have a hole in your nose. Have you seen a guy like? <laughs> I'm engaged. <laughs> no. No. But girls, girls propose though too. That's that was the part I was trying to bring. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I get that. Yeah. So if that happens, does the dude wear the en- engagement ring then? Does the girl does the girl <laughs> buy herself an engagement ring like that's more expensive to wear, and then the guy gets like and a so shitty she, one? So she proposes, and then just puts the ring on herself. But like, so I'm a girl. I'm proposing. I'm like, will you marry me? Here's your ring. Me as a guy, is the ring gonna be like very masculine? Is it like a, a dragon <laughs> ring or is it like a big jewel on it? I'm like, wow. A dragon like, ring. How about a big <laughs> dragon with a big jewel on it? Yeah, something like that. Then I'd be like, yeah, dude, check w- this out. When a woman proposes to a man, <laughs> I'm married. she goes to the sword store in the mall, buys him a <laughs> dragon shirt, a matching sword, <laughs> and proposes to him on a cliff top. That's the way to do it. Yeah, that's right? pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I'd say yes. Yeah, so, let's get back so to yeah, tradition in this country. You know? Back to the original question. I don't, I don't know. I guess it's a thing. It's just like a thing. Maybe it's a thing with some of the young men. But I, I was just watching their podcast, and so I'm stealing content from their side. Uh, apparently, Septic deleted the footage from their wedding accidentally. Yeah. He has pictures, but the footage is gone. <gasps> no. Yeah. So they're. But wasn't it just like the courthouse wedding? It wasn't like their actual wedding. The, are they having a more like official one or like something? The that they're actually going to re- invite I like, us to, or are we just not part of like their friendship project. circle anymore, or something like that? I'm going to be in Subject's wedding, bitch. What are you, you so going to be? A, prepare, you're going to be a best man. Prepare, like, I don't even know what you're talking. Well, no, Kib's probably going to be the best man, and then James, and then probably you. You think James, who he only met at SourceFed a year ago, yes. is going to have a higher ranking than me yes. and Stephen yeah. Subject's wedding? Yeah. 
even though I encouraged him yes. to go for the gold. Yes. To answer I, your I question think, eight I think, times, I yes. I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong, friend. We'll see, we'll see. Sorry, we'll see. DeAngelis. Anyway, none of us see are See you in the funny papers. None of us are getting married in a long, long, long time. We're still all so young. I'm very young. Too young so to get married. Others. Too young to get married. What, if, what about you? What, what are about you? me? When are you gonna, you know, I'm not settle down? Ever? I don't think so. I think the whole, like, I've been to too many weddings from when I was a wedding DJ. <laughs> Just, uh, and, and it's not my thing. You didn't know about Asher's dark past of being a, a wedding DJ? I think I heard something. I went to, like, 50 weddings over the course of two months. It was, uh, That's a lot, a lot of weddings. Yeah. If I've learned anything, it's that nobody's happy at a wedding. Wow. <laughs> it's really? all just it's all just stress and anger. Well, everybody who's involved in the planning. I mean, when I go to a wedding and I'm not part of being in it, I'm having a great time because well, yeah. I'm like sweet free booze and food and I don't have to be in that ugly ass dress. I mean, I that never ugly ass dress. Yeah, that's all the dresses that I've had to wear as a bridesmaid, not a lot of them were great. Wow, I hope that my family doesn't watch this because they were all their weddings. Lindsay's throwing shades from the moment she got here. She's like, do you see that those guys are wearing engagement rings? Do you see their ugly ass dresses? I Damn. just was yeah, curious. You're being judgy right now. Anyways, uh, Asher's here too, guys. So. Well, Asher's here too. He's like yeah. also Asher. on this podcast this week. It's been a long time since we've seen you here yeah, on this true. podcast. Yeah, I'm And at work. <laughs> and about a month, I think. <laughs> what's, what's it like? Over Wait, the last work? podcast, we were both on it together. The last yeah. ones that each of us were on. It was this crew. What? At Diablo Yeah, we Tacos. went to the taco place. Oh, shit. Oh, the Diablo Tacos place. Yeah. I, I forgot about that. We yeah. already did this. <laughs> no, that was like a that was like a drunk episode for me. Oh, yeah, because you kept doing those shots of tequila. Wait, no, no, no that was just beer, I think, because I was just driving. No, but in the beginning, you were drinking those shots of tequila. Sure. At the beginning, you had me try this thing that you said was sweet, but it was the most uh, spicy sauce on the table. Catch pretty good. Yeah, you really pranked me there. <laughs> Let's just rewatch that episode. If you want to just re-roll that episode right now, <laughs> that'd probably save us a lot of time. <laughs> when I was in middle school, a kid peed on me. I was like, hey, watch an entire Logan Paul video, dude. I'm a, I'm a 14 years old, right? I can't I've, do it. I've caught you watching girl. Logan Paul videos on your computer at work. <laughs> I probably can't get blood now because my blood alcohol level is probably too high. <laughs> you know, Chili's R Relenios? How do you say that? And welcome back. And welcome back, <laughs> yeah. Oof. How's it feel? Pretty good? Great. What? So, I guess I'll use this opportunity to say, um, despite a lot of confusion on our part, and some uh, arm twisting from Fareed, who isn't here, we will be at PAX East. It will be Alex, myself, Asher, and Matt, who's holding the camera right now. This will be Asher's first PAX. That's true. Ooh. My first convention. And you know, for months and months and months, we heard, guys, come on, I've never been to a PAX. When do I get to go? Come on, that looks pretty fun. When do I get to go? Did and I? Now this is your chance. Did I ever say that? Yeah. Every time we would be over there complaining, like, oh, we got to make plans. What are we going to do? You'd be like, guys, I would love to go. Why are you so well, jaded yeah, and true. dark and bitter? <laughs> that is true, yeah. <laughs> that is, no, you do have a lot of, like, life in you. I try. Which is good. Less than like, by the day. I mean, I feel like I've been to too many, and I'm sure Brett feels like... Oh yeah, I'm sure, uh, like, after going to so many, you start to hate them. For somebody who's never been to one, it's like... It's like the, seems like the Grinch. Do you have, um... Do you have anything that you're going to do on the panel, do you think? Just what a little teaser? Are you going to do, like, a bit? Yeah, yeah do you have a bit? What, what kind of material are we going to see? I, I don't know. Taste. What do you what do you <coughs> what do you usually do on the? What's that? Well, this isn't about us. This is about you. This is your this is your debut. So do you tell us? What do you usually do on the panels? Well, like, why are you helping him out? Just let him answer. This is you. This is your show. This is yours. I'm gonna Netflix you, you comedy special. Why are you yelling at me, dude? Because I'm sick of it. I'm ready. Wow us. I'll, I'll uh, do a little dance. Okay, fine. Hold on. You'll do Just a little cheer. dance. <laughs> yeah. I'll say. I cannot wait to see this. Welcome to the twenty. 18 was practice. fucking couch up panel. Thank you all 10 people for showing up. We're here with uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I should and, be here. And Asher. Say hi, Asher. Hello. Uh, Asher oh, so nervous. just wanted to perform something for us before we got this started. So the stage is yours for whatever it is. I don't know what he's doing, but it should be something crazy just for you guys. Dude. Wow. Little dance. You're gonna. This is gonna be a rough. It's gonna be on like live stream fails over. That here. was like. 
That was awful, man. I'm sorry. Why don't you do like a little like strip dance or something instead? A strip dance? Yeah, would you strip with some music? If I you played some I don't like, think techno I'd... music or something? Techno music? Yeah. Who strips to techno music? I don't know. What do you strip to? Like, I usually just strip in silence. <laughs> <laughs> in silence. Just complete silence. <laughs> Someone turns on music, you yell at them. <laughs> yeah, I get mad. I put my no, clothes no. back on. No, 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 no. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow. listen, you may not see Asher uh. strip, but you know what? Let's look at some people in their underwear. You know, you've heard me talk about MeUndies, and you know that I am a big believer in their product. They're the perfect balance of comfortable fit. Every month, they've got new and exciting prints, and they arrive at your door in a fun bag. A fun bag is probably my favorite part. Dude, so you came, you came, you came out too hard. I was just, I was thinking about what you were saying. And yeah, you, kind you of were flushed. visualizing it. You're wearing I'm, me undies right I, now. I, I right actually am. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I wear these uh, like pretty often. Uh, this, looking pretty. This particular pair I've worn uh, every day for about two weeks now. You've coordinated your underwear with the rest of your outfit. With my outfit. Impressive. Yes, it's a, uh, it takes a lot of effort. Yeah. I mean, but they have different colors and stuff and you can pick and choose and make different uh, little outfits uh, that go with the underwear. So when you pick up that date, you know, you can say, wow, you got, you're matching. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. So you're matching. fun prints. There's banana print lately. There's this taco print. Meandies, if you want to send us some more, we would I like more, more pairs. I do need more. And again, I only got kind of funnies. I want more for us. Yeah, please. Send, send some men and women's. Yes. You want the banana ones? The taco ones? I want the ones? banana and the taco Those ones. Those are, I think, limited edition, but there's <laughs> always new prints coming your way. MeUndies uses lensing micromodal in their underwear. It's a sustainably sourced, naturally soft fiber that starts with beechwood trees and ends with the most amazing fabric you've ever experienced. The results have been downright dreamy. MeUndies adventurous prints and designs are all limited edition and new patterns are released every few weeks on a rolling basis. 100% satisfaction guarantee MeUndies guarantees you will love their undies or your money back. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first time purchasers, when you purchase any MeUndies, you get 20% off and free shipping. They're so sure you'll love their underwear. 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you don't love your first pair, get a full refund. This is a no-brainer. 20% off a pair of the most comfortable undies you will ever put on. To get 20% off your first pair, free shipping, and that satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash CCTV. Doesn't get any simpler than that. MeUndies.com slash CCTV. There's no way you don't have the information you need to coordinate your life. Coordin co coordinate your outfit with that underwear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The taco one sounds pretty lit. It's pretty good. It looks pretty I'd good. I'd go to like Del Taco and, and show that off for sure. Yeah, I got a little discount Ooh, on that. Del you know? taco. Dri I'll drive there in my underwear. Wow. Which is like, you know, that's like, that's un that's a thing people would just do out here. Just drive around in your underwear, you know. The weather's nice. Who does man. that? Who does that? No. Just like people in general, dude. Oh. Sometimes I, you do that. Like I go to the beach and then I get in back in my car and I'm like, whatever. Well, I mean, you have done that. That's not your underwear, that's like your swimsuit. No, I'd be like in my underwear. Oh, you just take like it I off? I would change the bottom so I didn't have a like wet bottom, and gotcha. then I'd just be like, fuck it, dude. I'm not sure if this will get used, but well, is, this, is this the episode where Trevor would be gone now, technically? Um, this is for this weekend, or next week, right? This is for this weekend, okay. I mean, he is gone, technically. But it's like not announced till the Grand Canyon. We announced it last CCTV that he was gone yeah. on vacation, so you could say he's gone, it's up to you. Okay. We just leave all of that in, I guess. I don't. This is like a meta conversation we had on the side. Wow, uh, but you guys didn't know this, but Trevor's he's he's on his his own, his own personal road trip, his own uh, uh, glory to Valhalla, uh, kind of uh, seeking his own. Mind. He's he's just gone. All right, dude, he's gone. I uh, <laughs> don't know when he's coming back. Um, so that that's part of the reason why we have this this particular RV uh, sitting out here in this parking lot is just because we wanted to have a little. We wanted to replace Trevor. With, with a, a large with an, vehicle. Yeah, yeah, with an RV. Yeah, yeah. Good and, choice. I mean, Trevor was going to be here uh, for this podcast, but that's why you're here, Asher. I understand. So now you're kind of here to like, take his spot. His replacement? Well, he was going to be at the PAX panel, too. Right. Uh, but you're but you're there as well sorry, for that. Sorry, you had to downgrade. You're no, it's okay. It's okay. Like, I, like, I like the thing. You provided this. You do, <laughs> you're going to do, you like, do a little dance. dance. Yeah. <laughs> what what <laughs> bits would Trevor do at, at panels? Trevor, he'd, he'd probably do the... I'm saying probably do something like that. Uh, yeah. He's got a lot um, of classics. The uh, I've got a stomach drinking, ache. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You get a stomach ache the whole trip. That's a good one. That's, and, a, that's uh, a good one. Classic. Like that one. That's an old the meme. The dab. Yeah. 
Yeah. That well, it's it's an old meme, but it's like a timely meme. That's kind of like it's a classic. Timely. Meme. There's a, it's timeless. merch, okay? Cool. It's not. It doesn't Time, exist timeless. anymore. I can't buy that pen anymore. Well, listen. The point is. If you live on the East Coast, it's really the only time you get a chance to see us, and we wouldn't cheat you out of that. So we got a panel Friday night. It's nighttime panels, first ever. It's going to get a little wild, perhaps. And then we got a meet and greet on Saturday. You can come by and ask us the same question <laughs> we, you ask us every year. Have us sign the same Minecraft sword that's got our names on it from the year before. I'm surprised the Minecraft sword's still somehow, I guess, relevant, but... Yeah, the questions usually are... It's shockingly. Where is member that isn't here? So like anyone that's not there is usually, that's the question. So if it's like we don't bring everyone down all at the same time, mm -hmm. then the questions will just be like, where is this person, where is this person, you know? Yeah. In fact, we had like days where we have two different signings with like one group and then the other group. And so because the other group's not there on that day, people will just ask where that group is. Anyway. We made it easy this year though. Wait, go ahead, finish your, your sentence. No, I was, just, I was just pointing out questions that, you know, I hope people ask, which is like, where is this person? Uh, when is this coming back? Um, do you want to announce that like our, our the meet and greet with the four of us is on Saturday, but then Sunday there's a special meet and greet, and it's going to be Anna, Joe, Aaron, oh, yeah. Trevor, Junkyard, and uh, a creature crawl plushie that I propped up in a chair. It's going to be pretty lit. Somebody actually. somebody linked me their creature crawl plushie the other day. Um, I just, I don't know why I, I was actually dying laughing. Uh, they they just said like I don't know what to do with this, and the, it was a picture of the creature crawl plushie. <laughs> I and they, they kept it. They, well, they just kept it. <laughs> they they were mad at me or something. I couldn't. I I don't know. If You're it was mad like, at me. What do I do with this? Well, it's just like I had my 24-hour stream, and maybe that's part of it. Why it was so funny that someone linked it to me, mm -hmm. like towards like my 20-hour end, where I'm just sitting there like, like out of your mind. Yeah, out of my mind. And someone linked me the creature crawl plush, like sort of angry that I had something to do with it. <laughs> like they wanted like a return policy or something to kick in. That I just. I don't wow. know, but maybe maybe we need to get like a plushy version of something here. We wanted to have like the, a, the little the cow, cow with the knife. We talked about that. that someone made us knife. one that was really well done. Man, that was really cool. I like how people get tattoos of the cow chop logo. That's my favorite one. Get more tattoos of of this particular brand. Someone, brand. All, two people already have a tattoo of merch that hasn't even dropped yet. The, what? the cow skull oh, yeah, reaper. Yeah. I've seen they that got one. matching tattoos in two different colors. That's wild. Oh, wow. That isn't even out yet. That is wild. Tomorrow we're doing a photo shoot with Wes from RT, who does all the nice photographs. Well, it would have been here. last week. It would have been last week. Yeah. We close down the liquidators have been called in and they're giving us until 10.15 tonight before they burn the whole place down for insurance. It's the right... Anyways, how did the... It was, yeah. Close. So anyways, uh, we did a lot with Trevor. Before he started his vacation, do you want to talk about a little shoot we did the weekend before we got in this RV? And something that might be coming soon, or is that a secret? Uh, my my music video? Yeah. I guess it would have already dropped by this point. Okay, so we so can talk about it. I guess so we did that. So depending on how it was uh, wildly uh, reviewed <laughs> is kind of where I'm at. Like, I, I have to sort of plan out two reactions. Mm -hmm. One of which was like, wow, yeah, it was fun to do. I can't wait to do more projects like that. Great. And the other one is... Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Guess I probably should have maybe pitched a different narrative. Maybe not uh, threatened the CEO of YouTube. Um, maybe done some things differently. Uh, for sure, uh, that's a lot to think about. In fact, I shouldn't even be on this podcast because how uh, embarrassed I am. You should my go into career. hiding. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about going into hiding. In fact, speaking of where's James? Speaking of hiding. Um. What? Well, do we leave him at the Grand Canyon? Is he live streaming? Dude, you meant you said Probably. I was supposed to say Grand Canyon. Yeah, he, he said he was only gonna be on this podcast if he hit his sub goal, so I don't, I don't know if that happened yet. So James started a uh, stream um, as well. I was gonna talk to him about that, but since he's not here, uh, Asher, what do you think about uh, James streaming? I've never seen one of his streams. Perfect. Um, <laughs> what do you think about him participating in one of your favorite pastimes? Oh, you st streaming? You mean? Yeah, he's saying, what do you think about James streaming? I, I'm, I'm happy for him. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Dude, I want wish you to say, wouldn't. I just want you to say something, man. You're sitting over there like you're you're <laughs> laying down. I just want you to be a part of this. I just want you to say something. I think we should just start having two people on the podcast. Well, I think that may been the two of you guys. I think we did last, well, wait, last week was the one where I had the conversation started. Yeah, yeah the start, yeah. The, oh. the topics one. And that yeah. kind of worked out okay. Yeah. I think people probably enjoyed that episode. Yeah. I couldn't, I, I can't tell if they did or not. This one's more of like a filler we're catching people up. 
<laughs> it's, a, it's an informational. Well, it's oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Right? Because it's yeah. like, why are we? Why are we inside of an RV? What is the direction that everything is going in? Oh, well, uh, we don't know that. Where is James? Where is he? <laughs> where is he right now? Where is he right now? Why isn't he not here? Gosh, darn it, dude! This freaking podcast is. Has it been twenty-five minutes yet? <laughs> wow. Epic. We, we did no. record a podcast like two days ago. So like you and I are kind of like okay, That's oh, we're, true. we're well, already doing our podcast. Well, the podcast we recorded two days ago would go up in the future. Yeah, we recorded a special. It was, yeah, it was, a, it was a little bonus. It was a little gift. Yeah, it was a little gift for the hardcore viewers out there. You know, watching CCTV all the time. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I think well actually this is a good setting because we liked we liked the road trip right we talked about it mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a tease but it was an experimental thing mm -hmm. so I like the idea that we're still kind of like exploring and, and, and doing stuff like this like I, I didn't think that this was kind of possible to do but we tried this thing out it worked really well I I, I wish I could talk about it more but I don't want to like tease it too much uh, but yeah we went on a road trip inside of an RV probably gonna do co more cool shit like that in the future um, and just seeing what kind of things we can get away with, which, you know, uh, it, it did go smooth, but also had disasters as well along the way. So maybe next time it'll go better. Um, but yeah, keep, might, keep, uh, might not. keep an eye out for that. I think, uh, What's happening? during PAX, the PAX panel, we might talk about it more. There should be some videos that are not as cryptic going up during that time. So, um, I guess the other thing is like, everyone's kind of like leaving, dude. What's going to happen yeah, when, that. when Lindsay's gone? Because you're almost out the door, you said last week. Yeah. Asher, I mean, Asher, I don't know where you're at, dude. You're, I don't think you want to come in anymore. What do you mean? Just look at you. What does that mean? Just your, look at you. Your body language right now, it says, it says a whole lot more than your words. There's not many ways I can sit comfortably crammed to the it's, corner yeah, of a we're, bed. We're well, it's just your here. your elbows like distancing itself, like specifically away from everyone else. Are you YouTube comments right now? You chose to lift, put this leg up as like a defense against everyone else. You could have no, put the mostly, far leg like this, like an open, and said you're No, it's like, mostly because when I put this leg up, you can see my outline of my dick really well, so I wanted to avoid having that on the camera. Mm -hmm. I like how you would want to sense your dick, but you're okay with filming mine. <laughs> you know, I never filmed your dick. Okay. You never, what was the point of having it in my face? Yeah. My dick in your face? It better be on camera. I uh, don't know what this is about, but check it out in the new will. series. I guess, do you, do you see more people coming through here? I'm still getting emails about, hey, give me a job. I want an intern. And then I tell them, do you, do you want to clean up vomit for work? And they said, like, yeah, it's actually I'm okay with that. So uh, that's still that's still a possibility. We could get some people exclusively to clean up vomit in yeah. the warehouse. Just an assistant to Jacob. Yeah. So follow around. That's what they're trying. The assistant to Jacob. Assistant to Jacob, or like, um, I don't know, body fluid supervision, something like that. Yeah, body fluid supervisor. Probably need a medic at some point. Uh, so if there's a, somebody that's well trained, and. Uh, Versatile, maybe in the SoCal area, get a medic in here. Doesn't pay though. They should know that these jobs don't pay. Yeah, it's all volunteer work. Yeah. It's for charity. F are we? Or so we're the charity in this. Yeah, okay, the charity. gotcha. Um, so yeah, there's there's still plenty plenty of opportunities. Yeah. I mean, maybe Finish your applications. Maybe uh, maybe maybe Joe will come back. He's not. I don't don't, about that. don't do that. He's a business. It makes me he's, sad. He's, he works on Wall Street now, dude. Yeah, Wall Street in Colorado. It's yeah. like some people say it's like the Wall yeah, Street. Yeah, he works at a sub Colorado. shop on Wall Street in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what Joe's doing. I'm sure he's well. Hopefully, he got a dog, and hopefully, he's playing Aww. with his dog. <laughs> I do want a dog. I think he, well, he's still he's still trying to like move out of of his thing, but he's he's still in Colorado. He's actually he likes it in Colorado. Yeah, talked he likes to him, it. Talked to him the other day. He, he's having a good time out there. He's an outdoor just boy. Which is good. Nash just having a great time in Los Angeles. Yeah, dude. What was the last crazy thing you did out here? Probably this RV trip. <laughs> Alright, this doesn't count. This is work. This is serious shit. Uh, I don't know. I don't really do crazy stuff, to be honest. You don't do crazy stuff? Lindsay's, no. Lindsay's birthday? My birthday? That was I fun. guess that was, yeah, that was... Was that like, crazy? It wasn't no, it was like that fun. crazy. It was fun. Yeah, he, th he threw up on Lindsay's I did mom. not throw up. There was did no you throw vomit. up on my mom? No, there was no vomit. Did you dry heave on my mom? No, your heave. mom was no, nowhere he near. He actually projectiled like straight up. It was no vomit. It was all just fireball that went up my nose. I just spit it out. 
Yeah. Dude, I don't know. That made wow. me cough. That looked really. Sus- sus- I mean, you guys had Snapchats going the whole time. Like, I thought something I should have Snapchatted was was the, the projectile that you had coming out. Pull out my phone real quick. Go to Snapchat and just film me projectile. I mean, spinning. I wish I wish I had it rolling at the time. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a fun birthday party, Lindsay. I think everyone had a good time. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody. It was had it was interesting fun. that you mixed in family with with like you know work buddies and friends. Yeah, well, I just wanted had, everybody like your, who... You had your grandma sitting there. My grandma came. While Kale had his, like, um, meme playlist going. Yeah, but, you know, my grandma was doing jello shots with me, so... That's, yeah, she, she that's why it wouldn't have been an issue, you know? My family, they know how... They know how I am, so... I am the way I am because of them. They were ready to party. Well, that's deep. What about your family? <laughs> that's Mine? That's deep. That's deep, deep. <laughs> jello shots. Yeah, what about your family? Did they, did they didn't, like... Do they know you're alive out here still? They know I'm barely alive, yeah. Barely alive? <laughs> He's barely alive. What happened? What do you mean, what by, what do you mean you? barely alive? What happened to you? You know, just, <coughs> just trucking along. Just trucking along? What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, what are you saying? You're like James I'm, over here. I'm trying to figure out what answer. my life with just one, one day, day at a time. time. How, are you, yeah. how are you barely alive? I don't know. You eat it's food, you eat oh, food, being multi- dramatic. you eat food all the time. Mm-hmm. You come to work. Yeah. You get to edit fun videos, you get to be on podcasts, you're gonna go to your first packs. How are you barely alive? Did a dog bite you on the way to work today? I was mostly just trying to be funny. <laughs> I didn't yeah, I, I didn't dramatic. realize it'd be this analyzed a, so is, deeply. This is a we have a yeah. no memeing rule in this podcast. It's a slight it's not a very well enforced rule, but it does like <laughs> kick into effect when you mean too much. People yeah. really think but, that you're barely alive. I think you were memeing a little too much. Oh. You leaned into the meme. But no, it's hard. okay, it's okay. Yeah. I mean this is just like we're just walking yeah, back. My parents are, you know, they're all happy for me. They're all Scared that because I'm the only one in my family who doesn't live in Colorado. Mm-hmm. The only one who's ever moved. But you're so close. Wait, all of your family is from Colorado, and none of them ever left the state. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm the youngest of seven, and they all live like within 40 minutes of each other. Did they see like a map? You have six siblings. And there's like mm-hmm. dragons drawn on the map, and they're like outside yeah, of these borders. Dragons. <laughs> yeah, here be dragons. Yeah, you do not cross. Yeah. No, they just like it out there. Are they proud of you for being? It's like manifest destiny. You're the first one to. Yeah. Go west in search of gold. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I'm, they, they're proud of me, and I'm, I, I'm proud of, you know, having that legacy, I guess, of being the first yeah. kid in my family to do that. When you marry a California oil princess out here <laughs> and start a new dynasty, they're going to be like, hell yeah, dude. He was the one. An oil princess. He was the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably like a reality show about it. It exists. About, like, oil tycoons' yeah. daughters yeah. looking yeah. for love? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to get in on that. Are you going to be looking for love at PAX? Probably not. Probably not at PAX. Gonna bring you some fun parties. You never know. You might meet some. Yeah, who knows? Ooh, yeah. ooh la la. I mean, fellow streamers. You know. You know <laughs> fellow streamers. There's all sorts of stuff going on. At yeah, PAX. and then you can just be like, I'm partnered. As a streamer, I don't know if I'd want to date a streamer. Oh, ooh, <laughs> my, uh, wow. Here we go. Let's see. What is that like, Alex? <sighs> what is that? What are you saying? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Nothing, dude. Nothing. I'm dating. I'm, a, I'm dating a international. I'm not talking about right now. <laughs> But that's the only thing that I'm talking about. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? What's that about? international dating life like? What is international long distance like? It's like dating in LA. Like if someone's in Santa Monica and you're like, you know, <laughs> just a little outside of West Hollywood, it's like pretty much the same thing. Make a little drive. You're kind I mean, of annoyed. How many times it. are you gonna like drive an hour down? You know, hour and, uh, hour and a half on on the weekends. Like that's just that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. Like yeah, good luck. I'm not I'm not getting in my car. To go to Target, let alone what go visit you. What are you talking about? No, it's uh, it's kind of like uh, it kind of sucks though, dude. Because I, I realize that like you know, it's funny enough, we almost full circle. We talked about Kib. He's kind of like you know, he's hooked up now. He's got this wife going on here. She's yeah. an American citizen, and now his his paperwork becomes a lot more simple, where she just has to fill out the. Uh, the immigration reports with him, claiming yeah. him as like a family member or, or as a spouse, and right. they get the, was the K one visa, I think, or whatever the fuck. Mm. Whereas like, I can't like even if I was like, oh, this works out really well two years from now, if I don't have my like, stuff figured out, then like, I can't be a resident being like, hey, this other person's cool too. Give him a green card. Trust, like they're fucking dope. You're already living um, in immigrant time. You can't like provide. For yeah, I'm already an immigrant, and they're like kind of like, we don't really know what we want to do with you, like. Who are you voting for? I'm like, listen, I just want 
<laughs> I just want to live here permanently. Is that cool? It's like, well, that's why you're a permanent resident. But it expires. So Your biggest look. obstacle is just you actually completing a, a form. which you know, <laughs> So far, that's like the big thing, I guess. So someday... Well, there's 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 stages, okay, man. It's not it's not like uh, just you know just get it done and then you know you're good. Cause I mean, my dad had he to adopt me. He had to like wait like two or something years of getting his paperwork straight down. He's a citizen, mm -hmm. but like he had to prove that he could adopt me for me to start getting my green card. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause I was like a little illegal boy running around. Mm -hmm. it took me ten years to get a green card. So I'm just trying to do it right, do it right, do it once, and yeah. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, dating a streamer. Yeah. <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> Argue, no, my, I think my point is, I would rather go through this hell, Full circle. this hell of immigration and figuring my own life out then than date than a streamer. To date, uh, a streamer. Because it's just, it's just nothing nothing bad about people that just stream full-time and have like sub goals and like all that stuff but uh when you're both <laughs> like pieces of shit and you both don't go out and you and you both like talk but talk by yourself to yourself for like eight hours a day communication is just not gonna be a good thing you know what i'm saying yeah right so yeah i maybe, agree maybe a wise choice <laughs> Hey guys, taking a break from our podcast to bring you a new sponsor this week, Hems Hair Loss, Erectile Dysfunction. Acne in places we just don't feel great about. Listen, now these things themselves may cause us shame, but we don't need to be embarrassed to talk about them or embarrassed to find the right solutions to them. That's where Hems comes in. Forhems.com removes all of the embarrassing stuff like going and sitting in a waiting room, Having uh, that awkward conversation with your regular doctor where you're like, listen, I'm having some problems with my erection. It's kind of tough. The girlfriend hasn't been happy lately. With Hems, you can go online, answer a few questions, and sign up for an online consultation. Then, if it's available in your state, they're gonna try and put you in touch with a physician in your state for an online consultation who can prescribe you a low cost uh, option to deal with your problem. So Hems tries to offer you a whole kit based on things you might need as a guy to improve your life, whether that's hair loss, whether that's erectile dysfunction, and again, they've got some skincare options as well. Now you can go through life like me, slowly turning into the real life Trevor Phillips and make your peace with that, I know I have, but for you young bucks out there, it's easier to keep the hair you have than replace the hair you've lost. So if that's the kind of thing you're going for, or you just don't want to go through, you know, another year struggling with some issues, you know, with the old uh, manhood, check out Hems. Forhems.com, a one-stop shop for hair loss, skincare, sexual wellness for men. If you order now, CCTV listeners get a trial month of everything you need to keep your hair for just $5 today, right now while supplies last. See website for full details. This would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy. Go to forhemscom slash CCTV. That's forhemscom slash CCTV. Might be just what you need to, uh, you know, get your life back on track. That quality of life that makes uh, living just a little bit more fun. So. Thank you, Hems, for sponsoring this podcast. And thank you for checking out another great sponsor. And now, back to the show. I mean, I opened up a little bit. What's your dating life like, Asher? I'm just single. Nothing really there. Cool. Yeah. I'm sick. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't you go on a date at a oh, bar? This was, this was my charger. I, oh. I lost my charger. Are you on the apps, Asher? Am I on the apps? Yeah. I was for a bit, but... I don't think LA Tinder girls are my type. Describe your type, Asher. <laughs> You're Someone who's not obese, as everybody on LA Tinder is. What? Every what? <laughs> everybody on LA Tinder in is, my experience is 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 obese. Yeah, it, start, it starts to seem that way after a while. Obese. Hold on, this is something <laughs> I really want to dive into here. <laughs> Why? You gotta drink your Kickstarter. So, <laughs> so, oof. okay. So, is, is, are you comparing this to, say, like, anywhere else you've used Tinder? Which would be Colorado, I yeah. imagine. You were on somewhere. Tinder in Colorado, for it's the record. Okay. Here. Yeah, for a little bit. They can block my face. And, and that was better? Yeah. Like, you've been on dates and stuff in Colorado? Well, no, I didn't, never went on a date. Dude, but. what the fuck, man? <laughs> just looking. Just yeah, surveying. Just, just, just looking. Purely looking. <laughs> purely looking. Yeah. 
browsing. Comparing the two s sources of census, the the data you you were like Colorado, like they're underweight, LA extremely overweight. That's yeah. That's basically what you've pulled up. Yes. So you gave up on apps. So kind of right. Well, there's also I mean I, w I want you to go in on this, but there's also Bumble, Hinge, Happen, Grinder. Grinder, <laughs> uh, you know these. Yeah, you can, you can search into. on Bumble. Plenty the girls fish, have to uh, reach out to you. Bagel. Yeah, and that's yeah. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Christian uh, Mingle, Farmers Only. Only dot com. Farmers Only. <laughs> farmers only. <laughs> they have an app. Plenty of fish. There's that one we found at Pax. The uh, the Pax. The geek dating thing. Geek dating. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You have so many the, options. <laughs> Tinder is the main. Sure, sure. We'll say Tinder is the the go to of that. Yeah, it's just the biggest one. Is yes. Asher really picky? Or is that what we're learning? Maybe you're maybe maybe you are picky, but like okay, so so you have you had matches? Yeah. Meaning that you swiped on person that you weren't like, oh they're disgusting looking by my standards. Yeah. Okay. And how did how did that sort of I mean we've had we you know, just text and stuff and it really doesn't go anywhere. Didn't go anywhere. And then I decided yeah. she was obese. <laughs> I talked to them. I feel like it goes nowhere. And then I, I <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised because it's like I don't picture LA as like say um, uh, like the southern states where like the 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 barbecue and just everything takes over your life. Like LA is very like vegan very like I opened up a tea shop that like serves kale like Kombucha. beach body hype do you know what I mean on, on a list of complaints about LA's dating scene everyone being obese is not is, is not it's a very rare I mean, complaint limited, I would say it's limited to their flakes sites. their ghosts they're vapid they're self-absorbed everyone thinks they're uh, trying to get something out of each other they no one trusts anything makeup. emotionally like, damaged super official uh, super superficial yeah. uh, money motivated no, dismissive and then over here <laughs> they're all obese <laughs> I mean on tinder that's are you, maybe it's just like maybe in your area. Like, did you do like a one mile <laughs> yeah, radius? Probably, it probably is like my yeah, area. just like <laughs> it's just like one mile radius. There was like a couple people, and they just very. You know. I don't know what you want me to say, dude. Then my experience, like most of the girls on there were just. But you, you keep saying mo. I guess in, oh, so. You're saying yeah. I'm not saying 100 percent because obviously it's not 100 percent. But you're still saying in your experience, most of these people are this. Yeah. And I'm just saying that's like so far out of like anyone's experience I've had the same conversation with yeah I'm just kind of like wondering like why yours is like your data is so skewed yeah compared to like everyone else's like median I have no idea I couldn't tell you like I feel like if they took different polls like in the nation for certain stuff like yours would just be like thrown out <laughs> like it would be like there's I'm, like I'm the there was a defective yeah. there was yeah. a defective factor here we're not going to count this at all wait is this like a thing where like you said you're barely alive like this is he's just joking where he's like I'm barely alive oh, but, but now he's committed obese. to the joke but and now, so he can't yeah, walk it back because we scolded him before and this, so now he's say just like I'm that. not memeing this is really my opinion I mean I'm not memeing that is my opinion there you go okay Okay. It's just my experience. Yeah, it, like, I that's could, I fine. Could, I, we're just making sure. Are you gonna go on You're it right going now? On the, like, he's going on the record. He's going on the app. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going let's, on record to let's show see you. see these fatties. Damn, dude. Fuck, dude. What about when you go to the bars? Uh, I've only done it like a handful of times. Did you find yourself surrounded by? No. I, it's okay, first fucking of all, memes. there's a lot of. If you could see what he's, he's just, he's just spam swiping no. One of which was the guy that was uh, hide your kids, hide your wife. I don't know why that was like, on a girl's profile. There's a, he's swiping on some girls that, that are. Like a baby. That are it's a better day on Tinder today. <laughs> <laughs> he said no to them. I think on principle, he's like, no, no, no. Just we saw several through. cute girls that he was just like, nope, all fatty, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> what was I? I was I was bullying you for something, right? I was like trying to make you talk to like. Yeah, some. we were at that Jack in the Box at Lindsay's party, and then you were like. There's a girl at the counter, just waiting for food. You're like, Asher, go ask for a number. I'm yeah. Like, no, what a weird place <laughs> to is ask this, there for. Was this is how it works, like when we go to the bars, I bully you, yeah, and no, you go I, with I him and you bully that. him. I reference that too, but it's not just you. It'll be like, you know, Five your friends people. too, which are like, everyone's just like, you know, like 10 years on me. So the bullying is like very extreme. <laughs> like it's like veteran level bullying where I have like four guys like making me seem like a piece of shit. It's you specifically, but yeah, no, that was that. But the reverse was like there was Trevor and Jacob, 
and, and Steve was there, but Steve was just kind of like chilling. <laughs> Uh, but sense. I brought up the point of talking to the girl at the Jack in the Box counter, and all three of them were making it seem like that was like creepy to do. It is. Why? No. The girl. Why, I'll give you the. Creepy? I'll try to give you the most unbiased context. Okay, she yes. was at the counter. It was late at night. She's working, or she's there no. getting food. Okay. She's right. a customer. She was right. at the counter, and she was waiting for somebody. She was leaning in, like waiting. I think she was looking. She was looking at the menu. I think the the end result was that she had like thought she lost something in the bathroom or whatever. But she was sitting there waiting and looking around, waiting. Right. So thought she's like an attractive looking girl. Look, look be at our, our age. I was like, yo, dude, like. Asher, go go say something to her. Just go, just go up. Go say something. Go say hi. I mean, she was attracted, right? She wasn't obese. I didn't obese. see her face. You didn't see her face. No. Nah. Did you see the outline of her body? Was she obese? <laughs> Why are you hooked on this obese thing? I, it, it. I mean, it's we're really caught on. It's it's like a this is like an anthropology class now. All of a sudden, where I'm like, okay, let's get down to like the social mores. Like, what influences this? I'm I'm very curious. I'm not judging you. I'm, I'm tr we're, I think we're all what truly influences curious. What my type? Uh, not your type, but your perception of the Los Angeles, uh... It just uh, comes from the shitty dating apps I've used. Yeah. Okay, we're moving on, though. All right, but... <laughs> you see the girl. Right. He's like, hey, talk to her. Yeah. You don't see her face. Right. And then what happens? But you weren't like, I don't see her face, I don't know if she's Let me get cute. a look, let me see if she's cute. Right, it was more like, no, dude, that's weird. It is weird because it's not like a place that's conducive to social like interaction. It's not like a bar. It's like she's at a counter trying to get like Jack in the Box tacos or something. What if it's a defense mechanism and all three of them opt in on the it's weird defense shield so that none of them that's can be is. bullied into talking to the the 100%. girl at the counter? Well, yeah, that's my first impression. Because Jacob and Trevor are like creepy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For wanting to like have someone engage in conversation with someone of the opposite sex like at a setting such as Jack in the Box. Like in it wasn't like an abortion clinic. I'm like, yo, go say something <laughs> to that girl. You know what I mean? It was like, it was Jack in the Box. It was yeah. late. She was probably like, whatever. Be like, yo, what's up? Like, like, what are you looking, are you looking for something? She or like, like, are you guys uh, drunk? Like, Bye. Or like, you were just hanging out. I mean, there's yeah. a number of things you could like go with the angle. If you, if you thought she was attractive by your standard, I don't know what it is. If your point is like, I just don't like the way she looks. No, That's my fine. point is that I'm, it's like, in addition to being socially awkward, I feel like I, it have a, I'd have an easier time going up and just talking to a girl if it was at a place where that's expected. What's like a prime a spot? I, I'd assume at a bar. That's the only times I've actually ever done Grocery store? I'm going to give you a list, we'll go, and you say yes or no. Grocery store. I mean, I probably wouldn't want to bother girls just trying to get groceries. Um, library. I've never been to a library. <laughs> <laughs> the beach. Yeah. You talk to a girl at the beach. Yeah, I would. So, like, where at? Like, like she's laying down, sunbathing, or no, she's laying down. <laughs> okay, so when? Like, you're in the. She's standing up. The wind blows her onto my beach blanket. <laughs> <laughs> she looks up at me. I, I have say, to say hello. Hi. <laughs> so, so not the sunbathing girl. She calls me creepy and runs away. <laughs> kick a bunch of sand at her. The girl at, like the ice cream shop, or the girl like riding on the rental bikes, or the girl like just walking down the beach swimming. I don't or know. Like, it would just have to be like a. A natural the perfect thing, scenario of like you see an attractive girl and she's there in front of you and like something lets you have a conversation with her by like some force <laughs> yeah. like she swims into you accidentally or something like that and you're like oh sorry and she's like hey you're pretty cute like something like that would work or she just says hi to him and he's like okay yeah or that <laughs> yeah or that yeah i don't know there is no and perfect scenario my friend you're always gonna bother somebody how many times in and in, in your life has a girl actively said, came up to you and said, hi. A, a much smaller ratio <laughs> than the times where I've done the pursuing. I would say 20 to 80% easily. 20 to 80%, 20% 20, 20 of your life with like first interactions with the, was a female coming up to you and saying something? Sure, but they're not always like blind encounters. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's someone who works at, you know, works or someone who's at the same event or someone who's, you know what I mean? You can spin those off, I'm, but, uh, but those count. Those are all still, like, encounters, you know what I'm saying? Strangers, right. if they were purely strangers at, like, a bar, it's probably less, but you still, you go to a bar, you know, you have people come up to you, but... Well, the bar's, like, the go talk to people, but the bar's also, like, s uh, some of the worst places to <laughs> have those conversations, because not only are people, like, belligerent, drunk, and then there's just the overconfidence, but, like, I don't know if a lot of the times, like, People there are spe like for specific things. It's, it's kind of like weird how to like 
talk about going to the bar and like picking people up because it's almost like uh both sexes are there thinking they're gonna get some and like they're like holier than thou or something than the other people so it creates like this weird like mist of like a bunch of guys for instance talking to the girls or the girl is just like sitting there waiting for like guys to talk to them or they're just there for their friends benefit and they want nothing to do with anybody and it's like this weird thing of like you think you'd go to a bar and just have a nice conversation but like never turns out that way versus like you go to a grocery store late at night and you bump into some girl that's like buying like a i don't know fruit basket or something you know what i mean right <laughs> or guys too i guess i'm it's both I'm trying to be like equal with both genders here but yeah i just i want to hear your experience but it's kind of interesting that you brought up like jack in the box being weird because i didn't, yeah, I didn't think that weird. was weird yeah i don't know I mean, the only times I ever went up to girls, even at bars, was because I had a question, because I, I don't know how to be a, at a bar, because I'm a little kid. So I literally just had to ask, like, It works. That I, one works for him, though. Him being like, wait, what do I buy here? Like, it's, never, it's never to hit on at them. At a bar? At a bar. Yeah, I, I've been, I went to what a few. What do I buy here? How do I literally, order a drink? I just, I just need you take it. the pacifier in your mouth, and you're like, do they have milk here? <laughs> yeah, that's how it feels. She's like, aw. So it's never like to hit on them, it's just like... I don't know what I'm fucking doing. But it, it works though, because it, it does any, work. Any place you go to, if you come in with like, oh, what do I like? I've never been here before. What do I get here? People are always like more than likely will help you out because yeah. they feel like they're and then it, helping. And every time I've done that, it starts a conversation. That's why I, I don't like the idea of just going up specifically, just like, hey, how you doing? Like, can I get? Okay. I feel like specifically with that, with women, that might work because you're you're kind of giving them the power, the upper hand, because so then they feel more comfortable. Like, oh, I'm in control of this. Can we can we see a, like a role play scenario right here of the bar? I want to see. I want to do like a live action. You know, I watch these like you know dating advice things. I want to see. So, so can I see a recreation? The, oh, no, I, why do I? Why do I? Because you're right there. I mean, it's right there. It's the, easier just, for you're framing. You're like the female at the bar, and yeah, then Asher is the at Asher at the bar. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what? What do I? Gotta so you're say? just drinking yeah, by just, yourself. You're drinking whiskey right. uh, by yourself, and a tall boy of whiskey. It seems like something you'd do. Um, well, usually since I don't know, like mixed drinks, and that's the thing you get at bars, I guess. Yeah. I just would go up and just say, "What are you drinking?" Okay. Let's try it. No, but I mean, you got to. And I would okay. say tall boy. So, no, 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 oh, no, stop saying what you would say. Here we go. Ready? Oh, Live say. in three, two, one. Bar life. So what are you? What are you drinking? Oh, this it's just a large beer can full of whiskey. Lindsay's already had like eight yeah, shots she's by this blasted. point. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I love drinking the whiskey out of the can because then you can just, you know. You're not my type. I'm leaving. Wow. <laughs> you would say that. No, you <laughs> no wouldn't. I wouldn't say. You that. would. You would sit there the whole time, and have like. The continued conversation until she would leave, I, right? I'm saying that's what I would do. Is that what you would do? Well, I mean, yeah, it's just talking to a person. <laughs> I mean, what else would I do? What, what would you do in that situation? I just, I don't know. I just didn't realize that you made up your mind so quickly. I thought there was going to be more in that conversation. Oh, in that, that role that play? Was a fast like, yeah, exit that, that yeah, that was a play. very fast yeah. exit. She told you what she liked, and you're like, "Oh, I'm done with this." Well, yeah, I just it's because I didn't want to rip. He didn't want to be in the bit anymore. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, so I'm sorry to sorry to hear that. I was I was going towards an interesting conversation that I guess maybe could be had in the future. That was very um, interesting. Likewise, Jack in the Box very easily could be like, "Hey, I've never been Jack in the Box. Like, what do you, what do you usually lie. get here?" <laughs> so what? Girls love lies. Isn't that true? Girls love lies. Yeah, we love it. If you were at Jack in the Box at two a.m. and some guy came up to you, what would be like the perfect line to say to you? <laughs> It wasn't 2 a.m. What time was it? I don't know, like 11 or something? It was like almost 1. It was pretty late. Lindsay, was you later. realize the details don't matter here, I'm just saying. Uh, if I was in there by myself, she was just, she didn't have any friends who was like sitting no. around? No, I think she just like came in and was looking also, for something. I wouldn't go into the Jack in the Box at like 11, I'd go through the drive through Hey man. <sighs> cool, anyway. Um, <laughs> so like, well, th so here's the thing is that's what makes me believe that maybe she was a little not she was either drunk or like you know not all there yeah great so so sh so, so yeah you should have not felt scared to talk to her because i don't think that she was probably sane any normal sane well-adjusted girl would be in her dr car in the drive through probably okay, so, so especially at night alone yeah. yeah so like maybe you know she sh who knows that's what i'm saying you should just went for it because she probably would have thought, you what know. What should he have said? What would have been like the perfect line? Um, 
Well, if she looked like she needed help, then maybe be like, oh, do you need help? Do you need help? Be like, do you need something? <laughs> That's your like, pickup line. Do you need I recommend somebody? The do you want me to call the police? <laughs> or, like, or like, I would have been like, oh, are you trying to figure out what you want to eat? You know. That's your game? Well, if that's what she looked like she was doing. What would you have said, Brett? <sighs> Going up to a girl at Jack in the Box one in the morning. I'd be like, what would I say? I haven't been at Jack in the Box in a while. I gotta get back in the mind. You want some chicken nuggies? I'd be like, yo, yo you tried the tacos. <laughs> I don't know, what are, you, what are you talking about at Jack in the Box? I'd be like, yo, this place is a real shithole. What are you doing here? Let's, let's role play, let's role play. Yo, this place is a fucking shithole. Are you, where, are you here by yourself? Yeah, my friends just dropped me off because they had to go to another bar, but I just really wanted a cheeseburger. Wow. You know, we're a bunch of us, we're going to go eat cheeseburgers. Here? Yeah. What? Okay, We're cool. going to go fuck each other behind the dumpster. You want to come out with us? I'll buy you some jalapeno bars. Yeah, but if you, only if you buy me a bottle of liquor at the CVS. Okay. This is already working. This is like, this This worked. Yeah, yeah that uh, worked. Oh, this is just me like assuming that I'm watching with my like what whiskey. I'm just watching you guys all fuck each other. That's fine, but yeah. sure. Like, can I get your number afterwards? No, I could probably never see you again. I mean, after witnessing that, we would just have Wait, to do you have a do you have a glass of whiskey yeah, in, the, ja in the jack the in the whole, box? This is the whole, I just asked if you could buy me the bottle, a bottle of liquor. Now I've got a bottle of liquor. Run no, I probably would not talk to somebody if they came out to me in a Jack in the Box and he was like, <sighs> "What if he was cute?" And he was like, "He's like, oh man, my friends are so such idiots. What what are you doing here?" Oh man, can you believe? This? I think I think you could probably Boy. get a number from Jack in the Box. I don't think you're going to get more than than that, honestly. Right. And there's not going to be like, a, "Oh, let's go somewhere after Jack in the Box." No, the dumpster thing was definitely a joke. But you could definitely yeah. be like. One of those nights, huh? We're yeah. all at Jack in the Box, like, like fucking eleven thirty, man. Like sh crazy. Oh, you live in the neighborhood? Yeah, we just walk down here when we Which drink. Is you know that we go to this bar up the street. Oh, you go to that bar up the street? Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Oh yeah, what do you do? You work around here? Okay, cool. Oh, anyways, blah, blah, blah. oh yeah, you should come out sometime. We have parties, you know, uh, on the weekend. Oh, you, oh, you, you, you free on weekends? Okay, cool. Yeah, give me your number. I'll hit you up the next time. Okay, cool. Go bye. It's not. It doesn't. It's not rocket science. Yeah. So it's still a better off. scenario than we swiped on Tinder and none of us uh, said anything stupid before we like met up. What I mean, <laughs> rather having a Jack in the Box encounter, easy to tell friends. Yeah, we went to Jack in the Box, right? It's such a weird place to meet. Why? I feel like that's still always going to be a better story. Like you meeting someone in real life is always going to be a better story than like I we swear. matched. We both were like, "Hey, hi, how are you? Good, no, cool. I like your picture. Nice. You want to meet up? Sure." And then you just like go from there. Because mm -hmm. whenever you're like, "Oh, I met on." plenty of fish or something like that it's like how many couples do you know that met on like a dating app or site and they're still together do you know anybody no not not really no i don't think i don't think dating i don't i think people on the the apps are there for like specific reasons mm -hmm. whether guys are there to hook up or girls are there because you know hooking up too sure i'm trying to be like equal here i'm not trying to like piss anyone off but uh <laughs> Usually when people are on the apps, it's like they're they're in a situation where they don't like go out that much or they're just not having a lot of luck with like their inner circle and it's like already like off to a bad start versus like, oh, I'm like, or maybe they're new to the city. New to the right. city is usually it's uh, also like a boredom there. thing too. Yeah, boredom, boredom, on apps. boredom for yeah, sure. You're on the toilet in the morning and you're like, left, 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 right, left, left, right. I'm on the chain gang looking for you know, dates. I do have a, I do have right, left, left, right. I do have a funny story though. I my friend uh, I'm sure he's gonna be okay with me telling this. Uh, he met this girl on like this cruise he went on when he was I think like 15, 16. It was like a Disney cruise? Um it was with his family. Probably like one of those I, I forget which type of cruises it was. Uh, it was like a week long one though. And he met this girl she was from Colorado, uh, and he, like, on the cruise, he met her, and they had, like, a really good time together, mm -hmm. you know, they, they kissed and all that. Ooh. It was it was a little romantic. He, he told me about it, and I think I, I, think I remembered her name because he was showing me pictures and stuff, and he had her on Facebook and blah, blah, blah. I had Facebook at the time, but I was like, oh, cool, yeah, Colorado, right? And then I ended up moving to Colorado eventually. Didn't really think a whole lot of it, whatever. Uh, years later, you know, I started started using Tinder, Colorado, just because Tinder was coming a little bit bigger and stuff, and I wanted to see what was what was available. 
ended up uh, matching with that girl and was like, oh, shit, I think I know who you are. But, like, low-key downplayed it, or I was you trying to be... You like you didn't know her? Well, I, at first I was like, nice seeing you on here, because I thought we were Facebook friends. Uh -huh. And uh, she was like, yeah, cool. And she, like, blew it off. She, I guess, didn't know who I was, which was kind of already weird. But ended up, you know, talking to her, getting her number and stuff like that. And then I was like, I wonder if I could interlink the two worlds again, you know, like By eight, having eight sex years later. High five. <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> Is that really? No, no, no. No. <laughs> oh, wow. no, no, I ended up I ended up flying my friend down for vacation because I hadn't seen him in a long time. And then I was like, hey, this girl is like literally like half an hour, 40 minutes away from from here. You should message her. And she's she's actively there and stuff like that. And sent him off on his way. And now they're married. it was a cute little cute Aww. little love story. Yeah. Look at you facilitating. Facilitating. I mean, just just Tinder alone can just inspire things like that. Me matching people on Tinder and uh, using it for my own malicious purposes is just a wonderful, wonderful concept. I only know yeah, one dude. couple that they met on like a dating site and then they're still together and they're married. Was so it like an bad. official dating site? Like, was it like Christian Mingle? It was like, like okay Cupid. Farmers, yeah. <laughs> it was meant okay to be. Okay Cupid. Okay Cupid is a little more relationship minded. You fill out way more, you have to fill out a survey, you have to do yeah. all this shit. And you're like, am I, okay, I'm looking it's, for this. Yeah. It's way more it's trouble than more it's worth. It's definitely more dating site, not like hookup. Cause you'll site. go, you'll fill out an entire bio, answer 200 questions, match 99% and then go to the bar and the girl looks slightly different than she looked in her pictures and you won't be into it. And you're like, I just wasted like, what? 25 hours of setup time? No, just go to a bar, look for people, talk to people, live your life. Here you go. Asher, we'll start bringing you to bars. But you have to wake up in the morning. You can't be hungover. <laughs> when am I hungover? Yeah, learn how to manage your hangovers. When am I hungover? <coughs> they should make a streamer Bless app. You. I solved this. A news. streamer, streamer dating up. No, <coughs> we don't like, need that. Do you play League of Legends? Yeah, I sure do. Do you eat uh, fucking sushi? Yeah, that's me. It sounds like me. Do you that's do it a, on a IRL? Oh. For streamers though. YouTubers too. YouTubers would be great. Dating and relationships. Yeah, we got it. You know, we, we we learned a few things. That was very interesting. Thank you for opening up and sharing, everybody. We think we all. It's interesting. Some interesting. Thanks, thanks for making fun of me so much. We didn't, I don't think we really making fun, fun of you. I think we are genuinely curious. Because you you are the first person I ever heard say that. So that's interesting. Your complaints are different than other people's complaints. So it's always. I don't know how to take that. It's not even a bad thing. I mean, we truly aren't making fun of you. It's just like. Hmm. It's like if anyone in group chat was like, you know what? I think every girl from LA smells weird. <laughs> I'd be like, hmm, do they? <laughs> Tell that? me more. What smells are you used to? <laughs> hmm, well, maybe, maybe, have I not noticed? Maybe. I've been smelling them for so long that they. Just LA smells weird. Yeah, like the, ta hmm. the smog gets it's in their good. hair. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, it's the, the smog in the taco yeah. trucks. The and they taco. combine. They absorb Greasy it into their skin and, and like, like avocados. Yeah, avocado toast and oh, then like tar. Everybody hates that. <laughs> so, tar. You smell yeah. like a tar pit. Yeah, it's just, it's just uh, sociology, really. It's interesting. So. Very interesting. No, no judgments. Cool. Great. Well, we're going to return this RV back and drive it through rush hour traffic. We do have to just give you some a lot of fun. So we're gonna go. Thank you for watching. We're crash into a tar pit. I don't know. Crash into. We should go to the LA tar pits. Have you been to the Los Angeles tar pits? I've not. You might just meet the girl of your dreams. Okay. At the tar pit. Stuck in the middle of the tar. <laughs> <laughs> and then like she you. bumps into you. Because yeah. you also fell into the tar. Because you also fell. And you yeah, had that like, in common. Oh hey. You can't escape. So it's, it's like, like a meet cute, <coughs> meet cute where you fall into a pond, but you just fall into the pit of tar. Yeah. Yeah. And die. And die. Well, anyways. See you in two weeks. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> Gotta get go. out of here. All right. You. <laughs> we're about to have sex. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna fuck each other. Oh, I gotta go. Great. Fascinating, boys. I'm so happy to be a Christian. So happy to be a Christian. I'm happy to be. A I'm a child of the king. Thank you.